This is the day the Lord hath made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Let's look at Proverbs 21, 21. He that followeth after righteousness and mercy findeth the life, righteousness, and honor. There are two key factors to your future, both far and near. They are righteousness and mercy. Most men cannot define or reconcile these terms, let alone live them. Some think that being right is more important than mercy. Others think being merciful is more important than being right. But true wisdom balances the two to please God in every situation. Righteousness is thinking, speaking, and acting in agreement with God's standards of right and wrong. It is doing what is just, right, and virtuous as defined by God. In Psalm 119, verse 40 says, Behold, I have longed after thy precepts. Quicken me. That means enliven me in thy righteousness. Verse 128 says, Therefore I esteem all my precepts concerning all things to be right, and I hate every false way. And then in verse 172, he says, My tongue shall speak of thy word, for all thy commandments are righteousness. Mercy is compassion and forgiveness toward those in your power with no right to your help or kindness. Mercy ignores the offenses of others and does not press claims against them. Mercy sees those in need and provides for them. Mercy is clearly defined and illustrated in the Bible. Listen to this in Proverbs eleven seventeen. The merciful man doeth good to his own soul, but he that is cruel troubleth his own flesh. And in fourteen twenty one it says, He that despises his neighbor sinneth, but he that hath mercy on the poor happy is he. Psalm 137, verse 21 says, The wicked borroweth and payeth not again, but the righteous showeth mercy and giveth. You know, the book of Micah, in chapter 6 and verse 8, gives us a tremendous goal. It says, He hath showed thee, O man, what is good and what the Lord, what doth the Lord require of thee, but to do justly and to love mercy, and to walk humbly with thy God. Again, Proverbs 21, 21, He that followeth after righteousness and mercy findeth life, righteousness, and honor. 